What's going on guys, Sink Lady back again with some more GBO2 and today we have got the O. So I didn't do a stream today because like, I pulled for it, I tried to pull for it, right? I pulled like, I spent like 60 tokens and I didn't get it. So I was like, ah, I'm, I ain't gonna stream today. But I'll probably stream later on today. Um, it just it just be better because everybody everybody I watch is probably asleep so I thought ah, let me leave it so I played a few games with my Todd Strader fighting the O and like, I was obviously doing good against it because people still learn the suit but Todd Strader is definitely kind of a counter to the suit because it's hard for this suit to approach a Todd yeah, uh, so it's gonna have problems approaching Dovins and all that stuff as well. Um, but if this thing gets close to you, man, like it's basically gonna wombo combo you to death. Like the downswings do decent amounts of damage, and it's more it's more the uh, four the four beam sabers. Uh, that does you know the crazy damn big damage. So this suit kind of reminds me of a Kubli Mark II without the funnels, basically. Um, that's that's my vibe I get from it. Um, so it's a definitely um, an interesting suit because I uh, you see there like. It's uh, got some decent um, range capabilities. Uh, 400 range on the beam rifle. Uh, it's 3,000 damage, uh, base damage. So that's pretty, pretty good. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna hit suits pretty hard, right? Um, and obviously the burst shot is pretty good for the follow up. After you hit someone with the beam rifle, you just want to play the poke game and not really go in for melee. You can do that. And it's pretty decent at doing that. Um, also, uh, bio the bio sensor mode is completely different. So it doesn't give you any defenses or speed. It just gives you. Um, it just may basically makes uh, psyche mu weapons uh, lock on. Um, Basically, it takes 200% longer to lock on, um, which is is kind of annoying because basically, if I want to lock onto the suit, uh, look, like you're basically not locking onto it, like because it's going to be moving pretty fast unless you know it gets stunned, so you can lock on. But it takes quite a while to lock onto the suit, so it's kind of like makes a funnels and all that pretty useless um, but that that's you know it's not really that great this this just put it that way it's not really that great oh like it should like to me it, it should have had that and then it should have, like at least increase the beam uh, is maybe it's beam resistance um, and you know, like it could have got a double dodger as well. Like um, a few of my friends that got it, this is a double dodger would have probably made it OP, but I, I don't think it would, right? Because it's at thirty percent of its HP. You know, it, you're not gonna stay in that biosense mode for long. You know what I mean? So for it to get a double dodger at low, like. At, um, low health is perfectly balanced to me, you know. That's why it works with every other suit. Um that get you know like Zeta and double Zeta is perfectly fine, like, you know. And those actually get um defence increase. So this suit doesn't get a defence increase. Even though yeah you can max out your beam and your melee resistance, but I'm pretty sure if you maxed out your suit like with the Zeta or double Zeta and you went into biosense mode, that's that biosense mode will actually apply on top of those defenses as well. So 
So it wouldn't really hurt if you got a double dodge or in bias and smack, but it's it's still fine, you know. Um, the um, the the the, the um, attack buffs it gets 15 to shoot in and 15 to um, melee, which is actually not what I expected. I thought it would be a little bit more powerful than that, but it really isn't. It's it's really not as strong as the normal bias instant mode, really. Um, I guess you could count, you know, increasing the lock on time for funnels and all that, like, strong? Is it really though? Like, you know, they can just literally shoot you with other things. Maybe it's like, it's strong against Cubely because that's most of its arsenal, right? But. You know, they just shoot you with the follow funnels. You don't have to lock on with the follow funnels. So it kind of like stops all of that, right? <laughs> um, so, ah, uh, like the biosensor mode is, is really whatever, man, to be fair. I mean, the damage buff is nice. Uh, plus 15. It's decent. It's not super good, but it's, it's decent. Um, the fact that it gets both 15 and shooting as well as melee um, you're looking at like if you if you're making a build that's like you know like super uh, attack like you can basically get this uh, to like 70 if you've got all the melee parts um, so you know you're looking at 85 uh, melee with it um, yeah you, you know you can definitely it's not bad basically it's, it's, it's decent but obviously his main feature is just like the melee right so I thought it would get higher melee but I guess they thought it might be too strong with like maybe 30% like normal bias and similar does because like look as you can see it's hitting pretty hard like 6,000 on the downstream and I'm pretty sure this SCR has got uh, melee resistance on it most likely um, but yeah I feel like it's a it's a it's a decent suit and it will fit into the me, me, uh, the meta as a frontline general, but it's definitely it's definitely gonna need help pushing through lines of like torturers and dovens and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, if this suit gets close to you, why well, you're gonna get wrecked? Surprised it didn't have shot dampeners and also. This suit doesn't seem that very tall. It seems like they downscaled it a little bit, but that might it might might just be me. Yeah, it's it's downscaled. It should be uh, the same height as uh, well, actually, it should be taller than uh the um Toshio, but uh, yeah, that was the game of the O. It's pretty decent. Hope you guys get it. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless.